How are we all doing guys? Welcome to the Fox's Den for a face shave today. Shaving Fox made in Sheffield. Best steel. England. <laughs> How are you all doing guys? Right. We're going to crack on. We've got a lovely old vintage razor today. What we're we using. We're using the fat boy today. No, it's not me. The razor that we're using. Adjustable. I bought this when I've had it, well, I don't know, a long time. Uh, I bought it. We're all manky and everything. I had to get it all cleaned up with a toothbrush and um, all different types of products what I used on it. And then I eventually put it in ultrasonic with some proper cleaner in it. And it fetched it out lovely lot. Fetched it out smashing. Look at it looking, lovely. Tightens up smashing. Listen to the clicks on this, where's Mike? Yeah. Clicks lovely. Great razor. And this is E2. 1959 second quarter so it's 65 years old <laughs> 65 years old uh, uh, as I'm I'm D8 uh, sorry D8 D3 1958 third quarter mine my birthday which is next Thursday oh, God, don't remind me anyhow right let's crack on so what soap we're using Paul right we're using Ariane and Evans Little features. My only wife's favourite is this. I just sculpt you. Obviously, it's getting down a bit. The scent is beautiful. It's a really, really nice scent. It's a man's going out scent. If you know what I mean. Heart on the town or on pole or whatever you're going to do. Right, in this, it's got coconut, cedar, bitter orange, bergamot, lavender. Clary Sage, Juniper Berry, White Rum, White Tea, Lemon, Amaris, Musk and Honeydew. So that's what's in that and it's lovely, it really is nice. Tallow based, so it's uh, no good for you vegans out there. We've got that in the Fox Bowl, ready to go. That's ready to go in the Fox Bowl. The brush we're using today, the second time I've used it, I used it the other day for my head shave. It's, it, yeah, I love them, I really do like them. And it's the Omega Evo 2. It's a lovely brush, guys, honestly. So, them tips are fine, ever so fine and soft. And then you get a little bit more backbone as you're going further down. It's a really, really beautiful brush. Look at that. It's a cracking brush. So we haven't got this thing here, look. I'm forgetting. So we're gonna soak. We're gonna give the brush a drink in the fox soaker. Now nah, I know it's synthetic, you don't have to soak them, I know that. Right, then we're gonna use the blade, sorry. The blade, what we're gonna use, I'm all over the place today, so we're going out in a bit. The blade I'm going to use today is the second use of the Supermax Super Platinum. Uh, uh, good blade, great blade. And then we're going to use Tea Tree and Witch Hazel from Books. I'm going to use Mr. Allen from ShaveNation.com. Little Fiction's Splash and the good old Arconem Coconut. So, I want to get this mixed up, get the blade in, and I'll catch you all in it. Right, guys, I'll fetch you back. We'll take my lads and lasses off. And then we'll make a start. Not dry eyes a bit today, but... Right. Get the old boat race wet. Well, the person has not claimed the prize yet. And they got until Tuesday to claim it. And then I'm going to draw it out again Tuesday and Tuesday shave. So 
and then give you guys another bit of a chance to win. Right, let's have a look at that. Beautiful. Spot on. scent of this is fantastic so it's one of Michelle's favorite scents this one This brush is lovely. It really is nice. You know what I mean? I don't get no tartary. I'm not paid to say it. Or it's just that I bought them both myself. They are uh, cracking brushes. Really are. Like I say, I mean, badges first, but this one is definitely on the second part. It's really, really nice, guys. I'll put a link below if you want to go and have a check out and uh, uh, your shaving it is in Spain and they ship to UK and, oh I will why they ship like but ship to UK it's cracking it's done in about four or five days it's uh, spot on just look at that lot beautiful lather absolutely amazing right I've worn my blade up we're on number seven if you can see it I don't know if you can see it now Number seven for the first pass, two pass shave. So we're off. There is uh, overhang on this to be aware of. Very minimal blade feel and it does a great job. Like I say, it really is. I've always thought this about shaving, you know, when you're using old uh, razors and that, that's like 60, whatever, or some 1930s or 1912, or all these different old razors. Wouldn't it be nice if you got like a log book with it? You know what I mean? All, all you bought, you know, all we used it. Uh, and uh, And uh, when you bought it, you write your name in it. When you bought it and everything, and likes to look into history of it, wouldn't it? Who used it before you and where they lived? And it'd be lovely. Smashing that. Great first pass, guys. Great first pass. So, how have you all been doing? Have you all been good? Having some nice shaves. Don't forget to go and check Chuck and Chuck's shaving channel. I'll put a link below. He's, like I said, all you all know, he's lost his, his all his videos, all his content, and his subscribers. So he. Bless him, he's got, you know what I mean, he's starting from scratch again, so he's building all his subs up and his videos up and everything, so I'll take my hat off to him. I don't know if I would or not, to be fair. I don't know if I would or not. After all them years and that, and you, all them videos, what he's done. And I probably would, I suppose, because I enjoy talking to you guys about it and showing you different products and different things that I try and... You know what I mean? It's it's nice, I enjoy it. Look at that. Fantastic. I 
Yes, I would definitely recommend this brush. I should recommend Frank shaving first to go and check his badger brushes out. They're fantastic. I love them. Like I said, it's my favourite. Uh, but this is my second favourite, to be honest. It really is. It's a brilliant brush. Paint a wall with look. Get lost paint on it. <laughs> Great. Right guys, against the grain. In fact, hang on a bit. Let's take it down a little bit now. I don't have to undo doors, I don't think, but I always undo doors. I'll take it down to five. Yes, guys, beautiful. Good old razors, aren't they? These, you know what I mean? They, they are brilliant. Slickness on this soap is unreal. Look at that, it's just gliding still on all. up there on this side that's all <sighs> brilliant guys brilliant that's uh, uh Absolutely beautiful. Oh, feels so good to get it on your skin after. It's got good properties in it, guys. A lot of these soaps these days are so good for your skin. This has got emu oil in it, and that's really good for your skin. You know, a little story, a quick little story. I used to go bowling some years ago, a few years ago, and we were sponsored by this emu oil. And this woman that were uh, promoting it and gave us this cheque to play for the in, in bowling, she was a young little blonde piece, she was gorgeous, she was stunning, <laughs> everything. And they're all quiet, everybody's quiet, she's saying about this emu oil and why good it is for your joints. And there must have been about 60, 70 people there. And I says, excuse me. So she says, yeah. I says, if you rub it in, I'll buy some. <laughs> and everybody started rolling me laughing like at that. <laughs> you got to have a laugh, ain't you? I said, you'll rub it in and I'll buy some. <laughs> right, guys. Polishing pass. There's not a great deal to polish. In fact... I don't do that real at all. Good raise a good soap, guys. But the brush does help tremendously in making a lather. It really does.
yeah there'll be all links below to the brush and everything right that'll do it let me just uh, rinse in a sec it's beautiful smashing guys do that shines bright like a diamond well, let me just have a quick rinse round just talk amongst yourselves Great, great, bit of Mr. Allen now from Shave Nation. I can a little bit down here, usual place where I usually get it. Nothing up here at all. I'm leaving the top off it to dry, guys. All the time now, I just leave the top off for a bit. So, right, back starting to wake now. Still not, I had my MRI scan, still not got bloody results yet. God dear, and terrible. All right, where it's going, we shan't bloody need no results. It'll be a nuclear bomb job, this. This Starmer, what a tosser. Absolute tosser for the UK. I don't get me wrong, I feel sorry for Ukraine and all that, but it's going to give long range missiles now and gone to America and all. You know what I mean? That's. And it's costing us billions. It's absolutely ridiculous. Cut the same America. It's costing them billions and all. Absolutely ridiculous. He wants to. Falensky wants to get up and just let him have it. Do you know what I mean? So, because all, all what's going to be a full World War, World War Three, and it's not going to be that much of a. It's going to be like that. Press that button. Bye. But let's hope it don't come to that. Uh, right, let's rinse this off. That's the end of me rant. Right. That's the end of me rant, guys. I ain't got soap in my head. I had, a sh I had a shower this morning, didn't me? So, right. Bit of boots, tea tree, and witch hazel. It's dry, I'm going to go through what we've used. We've used the Fat Boy uh, adjustable. We started on seven, I think we did, and five. Uh, uh, the blade we've got in it today is a Super Mac Super Platinum blade in it. Final use of it. Uh, take the blade out, look now. That's the blade. I'm gonna get that all rinsed under the tap in a minute. Beautiful. E2, so it's 1959 second quarter. Uh, the soap that we've used today, guys, is the Little Fictions from A&E, Ariana and Evans. Beautiful soap, lovely soap. Absolutely great. And we give the brush a drink. In the fox soaker, I'm beginning to have to soak it. Yes, we know. <laughs> and the uh, bowl that we've used is the fox 
lather bowl. We've still got plenty of lather left in it. So we'll put that in there and get some cold water on it to rinse it out. And we've just used Boots, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Now we're going to use Little Fiction's Aftershave Splash. Aftershave Splash and Skin Food. So, be good stuff this. I'd say it's wife's favourite. It's a thick look. Oh man. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that's that. I can put that back on the shelf. I feel where it belongs. That's that back. Smashing. We'll put that back while we're waiting for it to dry. Ah, back's just starting to kill me now again. Stood too long. Right, look at that. Shines bright like a diamond. Right. Bit of Arco and M coconut on. Well, and that's it for this one guys that's us all sorted out and all done so the next one will be Tuesday what day are we on uh, we're on Saturday aren't we so it'll be head shave off camera Monday and Tuesday for a face shave we've got a good one lined up for Tuesday I know what we're going to use so, right guys, thanks to you all for watching, subscribing, old and new, all your comments, likes, and everything you do to support this channel. So, thanks guys, see you all later, love you all.